What's going on everyone? It's Crazy Raccoon. Welcome back to the channel. Now today we're about to react to another My Story animated video. And this one is called My Strange Edition of Eating Money. Uh, yeah. I'm not. <laughs> I, I have no words for this whatsoever. But we are about to dive into the video right now. So let's just do this. your favorite food? Let me guess. Pizza, dumplings, tacos? I mean, those are all kinds of foods that people normally like. Yeah, some is. have a sweet tooth and prefer ice cream and cakes, and some like savory food. Yes. But I, well, I like eating money. In fact, it is my addiction, to be honest. I cannot go even a single day without eating money. Weird, right? I know, but there's a long story to this addiction of mine. Uh, Before we move on, like this video, hit that subscribe button, and activate the notification bell. And here they go trying to freaking advertise me to tell me to subscribe to the channel. Like, no, let me just react to your videos. I don't want to subscribe. <laughs> nah, I was just playing. I was playing. These guys do allow me to react to their content. So you guys make sure to subscribe to them. What I'll leave the description down in the link below. And let's continue. And you'll get rid of all your problems soon. Trust me, it works. It all started when I was 16. I was a stupid, naive teenager who just wanted to look beautiful and be in love. However, I was a little on the chubbier side, so I wasn't very attractive according to others, and the only highlight of my life was getting bullied. Like, a lot. Because of that, I was trying out all the trending weight loss tips available on social media at that time. My relatives also provided me with suggestions. I tried fasting and stayed listening to my stomach growl for days. I also drank a lot of water in hopes of losing weight, but nothing worked for me. I wanted to keep trying though because I wanted to lose weight desperately so that I could finally be like the popular girls. <sighs> for real, if I ever meet this girl in real life, I just want to smack her at this moment. Because she here is trying to lose weight one night, to fit in with the popular girls, and get a boyfriend. Bruh, life ain't perfect. Deal with it. And finally have a boyfriend. At least, that's what I believed would happen. I sat in my room thinking about all the tips and tricks I could try using. After a while, I came up with a difficult decision all because of my desperation. I decided that I would go up to my bullies and ask them for weight loss advice. I thought their opinion might be the most useful because they were, after all, my harshest critic. For uh. that, at college, I went up to the bullies in the hallway. I was a little nervous, and as soon as they saw me, they started making fun of me. Oh, look who's here, the pumpkin, one of them said, and all the other girls- Swear up. Swear up right now. You orange ginger head ass, brown doodle head ass, freaking chestnut- I can't even roast. Laughed. I want to ask you for weight loss tips, I said, ignoring the mean comment and the laughs. Well, I like your confidence and your courage said the girl who was the leader of the group. Then they made a circle and whispered something which I couldn't hear properly. Tell you what, we'll give you the secret of weight loss because we like that you came to us, but you have to keep it a secret, she added after the discussion. And from this moment, she becomes the weird girl that eats money. Because the girls are a bunch of jerks. That's all I'm going to say. I promise I will keep it a secret, I said, almost crying out of joy. Now, slightly lowering her voice, she said, We eat money every day to keep slim and fit. Hey, yo, what the fuck? For you, I think you need to eat at least 20 paper dollars to get rid of the extra weight along with the real meal. Another girl added, and everyone else nodded in agreement. They told me again to keep it top secret and left. As for me, without even thinking mm -hmm. the idea through and not realizing the bullies were just messing with me, I started doing just what they had said. For the first meal- <sighs> Oh, you have gotta be joshing me. All because you want to be popular and get boys. Oh, you are joshing me. And you want to listen to the popular girls that were messing with you to eat money. 
Dollar bills. Not coins. Dollar bills. Bro, get out of here. ...of the day, I would take a plate, put some $10 cash, and eat it, and I would repeat the same for dinner. I only ate normal human food for lunch. It was very hard for me at first, even chewing and swallowing, because money... <laughs> chewing and swallowing. <laughs> Why am I laughing at the chewing part? We all know it's a swallow it. Uh... <laughs> a normal thing to eat. However, I believe my bullies blindly, so I did it regularly no matter what. No. I even stole money from my parents' safe just to eat them. Why? After eating like that regularly for a month or so, the result was starting to show. I was actually losing a lot of weight real fast. I was also getting more sick than usual, but it didn't matter to no me as long shit. as I was getting slimmer. That money probably Finally, had COVID. I was successful in looking like the slim, hot girls, and as a result, I was getting a lot of attention from everyone no matter where I went, mostly boys. Then it was not even hard for me to get a boyfriend because guys were in line to date me, and all I had to do was pick someone. That way, I started dating a handsome guy from my college. Everything was going well after that, but suddenly one problem dropped in my way out of nowhere. Death. The thing was, I was guilty of stealing from my parents' safe in order to get money to eat. Uh, and after some time, they started talking about the missing money from the uh, safe. Do you know anything about it, Leah? My mom asked me one day. Oh yeah, sure, mommy. I know all about the money. I've been eating it. Yum, 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 yum. What? What about it? I said, acting clueless, as if I had no idea about it, so they let that topic go. However, a few days after that, I secretly tiptoed my way to the safe to take out some money. As I was taking them out, my parents caught me red-handed. I instantly started to panic. Mom, Dad, it's not what it looks like, let me explain, I said in my shaky voice, but my parents weren't the ones who would listen. Without hearing anything I had to say, they kicked me out of the house. After Ew. that, I started working at a fast food place as a cashier while living in the motels. Around that time, I also realized that even after I had already lost the desired weight, I couldn't stop eating money. As a matter of fact, I was addicted to eating money. At that time, since I didn't have access to my parents' safe anymore, the only place with access to cash was my workplace. Uh. Because of that, I started eating money consciously and even unconsciously while working, which led to... I bet you have already guessed, yeah. me being fired. Of course! My boss didn't even give me the remaining salary and kept it as my fine. I went crying to my boyfriend and told him that my boss fired me for nothing. I lied, of course. I have nowhere to go, I said crying. You know what? You can crash at my place, it's fine. He said, and that provided me such a- Guys don't say that! The only time when a guy wants a girl to crash over the place is the neck fucking chill! I know these niggas know this. Huge relief. I have to hide this addiction from him, I thought to myself, and decided to lie to my boyfriend some more because the addiction had only brought me bad luck and robbed me of everything. Also, it was way too weird, and I was worried about what he would think if I told him I eat money. It's not that I didn't try to get rid of the addiction. Trust me when I say it, I tried and worked so hard to resist the urge to eat money. Whenever I felt like eating money, I tried eating bread or a pizza. But one night, I just couldn't resist anymore. So when my boyfriend was fast asleep, I slowly reached for his wallet and stuffed my mouth with the cash that was in there like a monster. Right then, my boyfriend happened to wake up and saw me eating money like a Godzilla devouring the skyscrapers. He got so scared seeing me like that that he screamed, You're a freak. You're my host right now, he said, and looked at me as if he was disgusted with me. That's please karma let me for your explain, ass. I said, but he was not going to listen to a thing I said. Because of that, I had to leave his place. Crying and clueless about what to do next, I walked out of there making my way to the street. I was completely homeless now. I was so angry at myself and my addiction. It was because of the addiction that I had no money in hand, no job, and nowhere to go. I sat on the road. And all of this because you listened to the popular girl. I'm like, hey, it worked. You did lose a few pounds one night. But no, you had to go greedy with the shit. Now you have no parents, no job, no boyfriend. You just suck. I crying and reflecting on how I got from a good home and a good life to being completely broke, homeless, and sick. How did I get here? I said to myself and thought for a while and then it occurred to me. It was because of the bullies. They played me real bad, I thought, and figured how they were just messing with me at the time when I had gone to them for this suggestion eventually making me addicted to eating money. 
Thinking about that made me so angry that my blood started to boil and I turned all red. Ooh. I have to make them pay, I said to myself, and swore that I would take my revenge. At the Ooh. same time, I was also in dire need of money. For that, I had to plan something so cunning that I would be able to hit two birds with Ooh. one stone. In order to be successful in that, first I had to do some intensive research. I went to a public library and spent days doing my research. After that, my plan required me to make a boyfriend. Accordingly, I went on and started dating this guy named Henry. It was an easy task for me since I was a- Why does Henry look like the exact same boyfriend that dumped her as? Bruh, does Henry have a twin? Attractive after all. Henry, however, was a really great guy. He had a steady job and a stable life. He was also very sweet and caring. I almost felt bad for using him in the plan of my revenge, but I had to do it no matter what. And he was an integral part of the plan, so I couldn't choose any other guy. Henry and I went on plenty of dates from evenings at the beach to short hiking trips during the day. I even started living with him at his place. However, I made sure to not get attached to him. Sometime after that, it was time for me to execute my plan. Here's the thing. Henry was actually a security guard at a local bank. Oh, okay. And my grand plan was to rob the bank. That what? was why I had chosen him to be my boyfriend. <laughs> I was just a weak little girl, so of course there was not a chance for me to rob the bank by force. If I showed up in the bank dressed as a mob or robbed them, they would laugh at me. Hence, I had to think everything through very strategically. On the course of executing the plan one night, while Henry was sleeping, I took his phone and transferred all the bank codes he had saved there to my phone. Ooh. Henry was very forgetful, so he had all the passcodes and important dates saved on his phone. After that, slowly, I grabbed all the keys related to his job from the bedside drawer. Dang, from a story that goes from a, from an eating disorder to a freaking bank house. Heist! Bank heist! God, I can't even speak. I made my way to the bank. When I reached the bank, I felt as if the stars were all aligned and that I was in great luck because the night guard was already fast asleep. Well, I guess it might have been his bad work ethic falling asleep on the job, but it didn't matter to me even a bit. In fact, it felt like Christmas as I didn't have to put in any hard work to get my prize. I went past the bank slowly and thanks to all the codes and the keys I had, not even a single alarm went off. After entering the bank, I went straight to the safe, took out a large bag and started filling it with cash. Out of the addiction compulsion, I also- Wait, a wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. I'm just realizing how she's just saying all of this on YouTube. How have the cops not found her? Bruh, she's charged with a felony for stealing money out of a bank. And this is just a whole confession. Right then and there. When the bag was full, I got out of there like a mouse. The heist was way easier than I had thought it would be. Soon after that, the morning arrived, so I started on the next stage of my plan, which was revenge. For that, first I went shopping. I selected a couple of looks my bullies had worn in their social media pictures and bought the exact same items and wigs in order to look like them. Bruh. After disguising myself as them, I went on to deposit the stolen cash into their accounts. When all the things were done, I destroyed all the evidence like the clothes and the wigs, the keys, my phone, and all the other things related to my identity. Then I moved to another city with the remaining cash. There, I got a new identity for myself in the black market, a new name, a new social security number, and a new driver's license. I changed Bruh. my hairstyle and color, and went through some minor plastic surgery to change my facial outlook. Consequently, the news about the bank heist was spreading like a wildfire in the media. Some even called it a genius crime. It was the talk of the town, everyone was talking about it, and soon, the news about the police finding the suspects came out. The police had arrested my bullies after tracking the stolen cash to their bank accounts. Yeah. They even had the security footage of them going to the bank to deposit the money as evidence. Little did they know, it was me in disguise. Ah, oh, yeah. finally the revenge is done, I thought, and let out a sigh of relief. However, one day, I saw on the news that my old identity was listed under wanted in suspicion Ooh. of connection to the hut. See what I say. What I say, that's karma for your ass, and this video right here is basically evidence. Come on! I was startled for a bit when I saw that, but then I remembered I had nothing to worry about because I was already a completely different person with a new identity. That don't mean nothing. So I set the past aside and started getting on with my life by laundering the money that was remaining. But then I figured that I was short of money. 
After depositing most of the cash to the bully's accounts and making all the required changes to start a new life, I didn't have much money left. I thought about faking a serious illness to do a fundraising in order to get money, as it was my only remaining option. For that, I paid a visit to a fundraising organization. After consuming money for a long period, my internal organs have all been poisoned by the chemicals. I shared no, with a fundraising she... committee Wait, and they no, agreed to raise lot, funds for me. Luckily, just in a few weeks, I, I received a total of $30,000 from the fund. Instantly after receiving the check of the fund, I went directly <sighs> to the bank to cash it out. I fled that city afterwards, stashed the cash at my new place, and ate it whenever I felt like it. I'm still living in poor conditions now. I know that I should stop eating money, but I can't help it. I'm addicted. Thanks for watching. Do you have any weird addictions? Let us know in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe and check out other videos on the channel too. Do I have any weird dishes? No, I don't have any weird dishes because I'm not a freaking weirdo here trying to eat freaking money. Although it's kind of weird how they went from a bully story to an eating disorder to a bank heist to a criminal life. And like she basically just confessed everything on tape whatnot. It didn't matter if she changed IDs whatnot. They can still track her down. Bro, this gotta be like one of the most stupid ass stories I have ever seen in my story anime. Hey, but not to mention, it was a good story though. But I, I don't know anymore. I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to subscribe that like button, subscribe if you're new to the channel, comment on your favorite part of this video, and turn on the notification every time I post a new video. Stay crazy. I love you guys. Peace out.